33-year-old rookie. And he swings it, lines a base hit into center field. He walked earlier on in the ball game, and that the pitch to Gurriel is grounded to the hole of the shortstop Bogarts. Throws across his body, it's not time. Couldn't get a lot on that throw. I don't think he got a good grip. Gurriel's two for eight, and he swings it, lines a base hit into center field. Two on, nobody out. As Beltron, who can hardly move these days, stops at second. And here's another jam right away for Houston. Opposite field, base hit for Gurriel. Has two singles in as many tries today. One out base runner for Houston. With one out, Yuli Gurriel pokes the first pitch that he sees into right for his third hit of the day. It's almost an identical swing to the one last time. Just getting the ball out over the plate and shooting it to right field. One about to go, you see a fastball out over the plate. He just sticks his bat out, goes to right field. Last at bat right here, this at bat. Same thing, another fastball out over the plate. Just shoots it to right. Take what the pitcher gives you. Yeah, it's a strike on Yuli Gurriel. Backhand Bogarts, jump throw, wide throw. And Gurriel has four hits today. Gurriel is a Cuban star, 15 years down there in the professional league. Shoots another base hit into right field. Betts dives to try and stop it, but it slips by him. And Gurriel will wind up in third. We'll see how they score it, but either way, it's another base hit for Yuli Gurriel. Well, at some point, the Red Sox are going to get tired of throwing him fastballs out over the plate. And Mookie Betts makes a great effort here trying to knock it down. But once it gets past him, it's an easy, an easy triple for Gurriel. But again, they're trying to go up. With just, how about sinking a ball in on some of these right-handed hitters and, and get him off that four-seamer away? Two balls, two strikes again to Gurriel. The stretch, and here comes the pitch. Swung on and driven to center field. Jackie Bradley on his horse back toward the track. Leaps. It's over his head and off the wall. Jackie grabs it on one hop. Fires it into second base. And Gurriel is in with his second extra base hit today. Red Sox just can't get Gurriel out. Well, this guy's on fire right now. This ball was driven on a line. Thought Jackie was able to go back and, and get it, but it was just hit so hard. Gurriel is six for his last six, seven for his last eight in the postseason. He's eight for 14 overall in the postseason. Gurriel, nice one into right, another base hit for him. Gurriel, home run shy of this cycle today after he had four hits yesterday. Backwards glance at second, a couple of them now, now the pitch. And that's line up the middle, base hit, Correa. Shots around third, Hicks will not get off the throw. He bobbled it, and the Astros lead it two to nothing. Gurriel with an RBI. Yuli's had a great postseason with the bat thus far. Now 10 for 19, but that's his first RBI. One of his hits had come with nobody on. Chance here to drive in a run and able to come through. And really big, especially with two out. Here's the 2 2. And that's ripped into the left field corner, base hit. Gardner will dig it out as Gurriel over to second base with a two-out double. He's got a hit in every Astros postseason game this year. Robertson hung a curveball, and Yuli such a good breaking ball hitter anyway. And a poorly located one there from Robertson and Yuli all over it.